Hey, so uh, out here in the Uari State Forest with Dad, he uh, wanted me to show a little bit of uh, my AR-15 that I built. Um, so probably starting, just brief overview. AR-15, AR stands for uh, Armalite. 15 is simply the model, that's all it is. A um, little bit about the specifics of this, I'll probably start from the front. I have a suppressor here that I built, it's got a little cover over it to keep me from burning myself light up here. Um, this is a uh, military contract uh, Daniel Defense uh, RIS-2 rail. Underneath I have a uh, Colt contract uh, SOCOM profile barrel. That's a regular barrel that you'll find in Special Forces M4s. It has fixed front sight posts. Coming back here, we're gonna have our upper. This is a just a regular Colt upper. Um, Optics-wise, I have a Leupold Delta Point Pro set on the side. Beat up old uh, Trijicon ACOG up on top. That's an old Marine Corps optic. Um, down here at the bottom, I have a uh, Geisley Super Duty Lower. Um, Magpul Grip. Um, that's a Contract FN Military Trigger. On the other side, I have a um, Magpul uh, Battery Assist Device on the side. Regular 90 degree throw. Mill spec safety. I have a uh, ratchet and castle nut to hold myself together, standard mill spec buffer tube, regular Magpul stock. Um, there's nothing really fancy about this. It's just a pretty much just a working gun. So um, a little bit about manual of arms of how you operate it. Back here you have your charging handle. You're going to have to pull the latch to unlock it and pull it back. So when I do that, you're going to see the bolt moving. Dust cover flips open there, and uh, that's just using the bolt. Your safety, it's a 90 degree throw. You can do it with your thumb. Um, to lock the bolt back, I have my battery assist device here. I can push up on that with my trigger finger, pull the bolt back, and that locks it rearward. Then I can push my charging handle forward, and she's locked and ready to go. The um, magazine release for an M4 AR-15 is up here. You can hit that with your trigger finger when you come off. Magazine can drop free. All you have to do is stick a new magazine up in there and you'll drop the bolt. I drop the bolt with this here. On most of them you'll be dropping the bolt with your left hand by pushing this button with your thumb. So I'll do that real quick for you. There you go. Bolt has dropped forward home. The gun is uh, dry. I'm just going to show you dry firing. So I'm going to click my safety off to fire, 90 degree throw, your gun's ready to go on the trigger. Being that this is a military trigger, it's about a 7 pound trigger. Clicks through, as you see, semi-auto of course, so you're going to rack your bolt, it loads another round automatically, and then you're just going to fire again. So yeah, that's, uh, that's that. The AR-15 uh, was uh, developed as uh, the M16, well, originally it was the AR-15 manufactured, designed by Eugene Stoner, um, originally manufactured by Armalite. Uh, Stoner wanted to get a um, military contract with the rifle, so he approached the uh, U.S. military. And the first uh, branch that adopted it as the M16 was the uh, Air Force, actually. But um, the uh, M16 was pressed into service through Vietnam and uh, manufactured primarily by Colt, though there's many other manufacturers who uh, made it for military contract use. And um, it's always primarily been a civilian rifle. It was designed by a civilian for civilian use. It's just the military found that it worked well and uh, adopted it for their own use. Um, it's, it's a design from, you know, Vietnam and very little functionally about how it works has changed ever. Um, it's more or less just the same. But uh, all we do nowadays when we're modernizing them is we just, you know, add new bits on them and make them work more or less the same. I have a suppressor on here, but uh, it's going to be still kind of loud for me at the ear because it's got all pop and gas coming back from it. So I have Ear Pro on, but uh, I'll show you how it works. So I have my magazines here. I carry two of them clamped together just so I have more. What I'm going to do first up is I'm going to lock the bolt back as I showed you. Pull it back. Oh, bolt's locked back. So now all I have to do 
load the magazine in, the gun is on safe, I'm going to drop the bolt. Then we have a round chambered. Normally when you're carrying the, M the uh, M4 AR-15, you're going to want your dust cover closed. As soon as you shoot, that's going to open up, exposing it to the elements. So I'll just shoot a couple rounds real quick. There you go. See there? Two rounds. I can just drop the magazine. It'll currently have a round loaded inside of it, so to clear that, I'm just going to come up here, pull it back. I don't want to lose my round because these are like $2 a shot. But yeah, there we go. Gun is clear. Right back there. A very cool thing about the uh, AR-15 platform is how modular it can be. So basically everything on this gun can be changed, even including the internal workings of it. So by pulling that pin there in the back, I can then hinge this whole thing open. And we see everything that's on the inside. We have our trigger group here. We have buffer spring and buffer here. That's what the bolt recoils into. And then up in here, I can pop this out. We have the bolt carrier group. That's a standard, uh, just a standard M4. AR-15 bolt carrier group there, um, chambered for 5.56, and a uh, very neat thing that we can do with these, going into their modularities, we can in fact convert them to other calibers. This here is a uh, 22 conversion kit, so it just has its own little bolt here, uses its own little magazines. It has this extension up here, which um, mainly just takes up the chamber space in a regular 5.56 barrel. So. If I want to shoot 22 out of this, all I have to do is just drop this in, push it home. I'm going to hinge them back together, push that pin through, and a little 22. So if I want to shoot 22, I'm going to need its own magazine, which is just made to accept 22 and fit the mag well of the regular lower. So I'm going to put that in, make sure it's seated, and a rack around in there. That went in home. So we got a little bottle out in the log there. You can see it. Because uh, this system falls into an existing barrel, sometimes it's a little inaccurate. Um, that's mainly just sets my shot group, you know, a few inches left, right, up, down. So usually it holds a pretty good group once it's in there, but because I just put it in, it'll probably be different. So we'll see if I can hit this bottle. First try, there we go. Let's shoot that rock back there. There you go, 22. Okay, let's have a shot with Lindsay's AR-15. This is normally a 223 caliber, but right now he's converted it to a 22. Just took an ordinary 22 long rifle. So we'll just put a shot in it, and safety's good, and we'll have a go. He's also got a little red dot sight down here. Yep. That I can use. And this, what is it? Ahog? Acog? Acog. It's an old uh, mule speed sight he picked up from somewhere. Yeah. Things fall Actually off the gone. back of trucks. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Works good. Very quiet. Lindsay built the suppressor. And um, yeah, as you can see, we can talk while we're shooting quite happily with no, no ear protection or anything. Yeah, no, it's, it's yeah. Yeah. subsonic ammunition is very nice to shoot. Yeah. Very cool. Like it. Yeah. Hot one. <laughs>